plebe is a cadet that arrives, a new cadet. Um, he goes through a short system which averages around a six week basis where they're confined to camp, we keep them here, and there's a number of reasons why we do that. First and foremost, we want them to gain independence. They're coming from their mums and dads. Mums and dads will do everything for them. They're washing, they're getting them up in the morning, they're preparing their meals, they're getting them out for school, getting them motivated. Well, the lads during the plebe system learn that they've got to be able to stand on their own two feet. We break them down in, to the extent where we take away all distractions, so everything they're doing is structured and they're all doing the same thing. There's no one that gets special treatment or somebody who gets worse treatment. They all get the same treatment. This all happens in the plebe system so that they can learn the art of being able to stand on their own two feet and they haven't got the worry or concern of where well, a lot of our cadets get homesick and that's natural. I was homesick when I joined the British Army many many moons ago and I remember how hard that was to be away from my family but after a short period of time you learn the art of knowing your family are still there they're only a phone call away or a visit away in a few weeks time and once the cadets have learned that and learned that they've got brothers that are all doing the same thing as them um, that cohesion that camaraderie starts to build and we get young lads that are confident, courageous, and able to stand on their own two feet. It allows them to feel confident about what their thinkings are, how they need to utilize them skills that they're learning here, and then life skills are learned on a daily, minute by minute basis here in the school. Because we utilize that plebe system, combined in, in a military model style with a great academic system allows us to help the young lads to mature at a very early age. So I know when they leave here, they go on to college and university so much more adapt, so much more prepared for what's required of them. So when everyone around them, all their peers are running around like headless chickens, not knowing what to do, where to put their laundry, where to put their, their equipment, the lads from here are sat on their bench thinking, well, what's the problem? Why is everybody in such a state? They've, they've got finger on the pulse from an early age. I think the military ethos, that model that we use here, allows us to coordinate a structure for the lads on a daily basis. Um, a regime if you want to call it that, but for them to understand time appreciation, for them to be able to administer themselves, for them to be able to understand a standard is required and they can't be um, doing their own thing. They might have a, a dress code for the workplace um, and we try to instigate that. So I think the way we stand out is that military model, we've got a great education system here but the military model combined with that allows us to help young men and women in the college uh, to, to excel. I think we allow them to, to learn using the military model a system where they haven't got distractions. So from the minute they get out of their bed, there's a system in place uh, physically developing one of the cornerstones so straight away we have the white corpuscles chasing the red on a daily weekly basis um, when they're dressed they're dressed in a military uniform they're all in the same uniform there's no oh he's got a better hoodie than me or he's got nicer trousers or nicer sneakers than me they're all dressed the same so all of that distraction is taken away from them on a daily basis and cell phones we don't allow cell phones in the schoolhouse, we take cell phones in and if the lad has earned the merits, if he's earned the privilege, he'll get his phone in the evening to be able to make, communicate with his family and friends. Uh, but, so that, that's the way that we work forward with regards to that. I, I think the camaraderie 
of understanding their plea brothers have gone through the same breakdown, the same early stage of building an individual's um, own character development, they're all part of and parcel of the same institute. So they look at each other as plea brothers because they respect each other, because they know they've all either helped each other or carried each other or got each other through various difficult tasks. And when I say difficult tasks, to the average student in a public school, they'd run a mile. They would not know how to deal with it because they haven't got a brother or a sister next to them that's gone through the same thing, that understands that process. And I think that that camaraderie that goes on for the rest of their life with regards to when they refer to their plea brothers, it's with affection, it's with love, it's with loyalty, it's with respect because they've all gone through that, that same uh, course of action. I think that it's important that the parents know that we are all parents. Um, that all of the TAC officers, all of the faculty, all of the members of staff have all got families. We all understand what it's like to be separated from your children and vice versa. We're there for the young cadets, we're there to support them, but also we're there to reinforce good behaviour. And unlike a parent that might allow their child to get away with something, we will prevent that because if we were to allow him to get away with it you can bet your bottom dollar that several others will see it and they'll be doing the same thing the next day so we always reinforce good behavior and i want the parents to know we're all parents and we respect the children we respect the young lads and we're here to reinforce good behavior and for them to grow to become a decent human being first and foremost and then all those cornerstones are all added in his vocabulary on a daily basis subconsciously he'll be doing it he'll be instigating it with every interaction that he has with another human being when he leaves here because of them skill sets that he's learnt on a daily basis and we help to encourage that or if they're doing something derogative we'll penalize them and they'll lose privileges and they'll be punished for that. So I want the parents to know that.